everybody, how's it going? Uh, Pragmatic Addict here. So, I just got back from watching Hatching in the theater. So, Hatching is a new uh, film from IFC Midnight, and this film did get a limited release. Um, I actually tried watching it a couple nights ago on streaming. I couldn't f quite find where it was. Um, I don't know if it is on streaming. I'm hearing that it is, but I don't know. I can fucking find it. But thankfully, this film did get a limited theatrical release, and it released in my town, so I just got out of theater watching it. And, uh, hmm. Whoa. So I guess that you can call this a creature feature, more or less. Um, it's a horror film about a girl who finds this egg, and it starts rapidly growing, and uh, she basically raises the creature inside once it hatches. And holy fuck, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, this movie. It's getting fucking hot. So the film centers on uh, a family, a mother, a father, a boy, and a girl. Uh, the parents are bloggers. Uh, the daughter is into gymnastics or has or goes to gymnastic competitions, does uh, gymnasium shit. Uh, it's kind of something that her mother wants her to do. And then there's the boy who's just kind of an asshole throughout this fucking movie. And I don't know if this family is, you know, supposed to go to give off this creepy vibe, but just instantly, not only the family, but just the family dynamic, the way that they're even, you know, portrayed in this film, just, yeah, this is a very uh, foreign film horror family that is definitely dysfunctional. So anyway, uh, this film starts with a bird flying into the window, uh, it dies, the daughter buries it, and then one day finds the corpse of the bird in the woods, don't know how it got there, and uh, there is a mysterious egg underneath the bird. So the daughter grabs the egg, takes it home, and pretty much raises it. And again, uh, like I said earlier, throughout time, it just starts rapidly growing and growing and growing very fast. And once this thing hatches, uh, which I'm not going to give any spoilers to what this, to what's inside the egg. But once this thing hatches, it does see the daughter as its mother, uh, the little girl that raised it. And one thing I will say is that this creature, whatever is in this egg, it not only, you know, not only does it see this girl as the mother but once it actually starts growing and as this girl raises it it actually takes on traits from this little girl so what one thing i i will say which i'm just going to get out of the way which is really weird is that there's there's a lot of things about this film that just didn't quite add up um one of the things is that this the daughter can actually kind of like sense things that this creature is doing and it almost mirrors like actions which I thought was very weird that is just one thing that didn't quite make sense um I thought a lot of this film did a lot of things right it is a very suspenseful film it is a very tense ride and I would actually say that as the film goes on it gets more and more and more you know better as it goes on but uh it does suspense really well it is a tense ride but a lot of the things just did not add up. A lot of things didn't feel necessary. A lot of things did not make any sense. And again, like, as I said, uh, how it, like, it does get better as it goes on. It is one of those films that, like, as it goes on, you start putting some pieces together. You can kind of see where it's heading. And I would actually say that this is more centered on the mother and daughter. Um, again, uh, it does take place with this whole family, but you see where each character has a lot of different issues. Uh, you see why this girl kind of takes, you know, a liking to this egg and kind of, you know, comes very attached to it because uh, a lot of, you know, her home life and a lot of things going on in life around her are very stressful and very, you know, depressing and just unhinged. So she kind of, you know, takes a liking to this egg. That's kind of what, how she copes. And then again, as this thing hatches, it kind of turns her life upside down. And uh, one thing I did like is that Again, while a lot of the things that didn't make sense, the things that hit really worked. Again, it is a very suspenseful film. It is a very tense film. It does a lot of different things. It does a variety of things. And while some of them, again, don't really add up, and a lot of them just don't really make sense, when it 
is actually at its core and you actually again start putting the pieces together those things that you know those nitpicks that you kind of have you can kind of and i wouldn't say you know ignore but they are definitely you know overpowered by the good aspects so it is a mixed bag all in all um one of my best friends uh tyler who has been on the channel he actually got to see this film when it premiered at sundance and he was telling me you know months in advance that it is definitely a unique film it's one you haven't seen before and it is either going to be for you or not and again this film does a lot of things really really well i'm not going to say it does things right but it does a lot of things really really well but it does even more things that, you know, over that it does well that are just, again, really ridiculous and kind of unnecessary and that I just didn't really get. But again, the film definitely does get better as it goes on and the things that it does, it does really well. Overall, guys, I'm going to have to give Hatching a 3 out of 10. Again, the things that I liked, I really liked. And I think, you know, on the level of horror, it does things very well. Um, it has a lot of uh, reveals and a lot of things that aren't quite predictable just because it does really do whatever the fuck it wants regardless of if it works or doesn't. It, it is a daring film. So guys, that is going to do it for my hatching review. Um, my next review should be the bad guys. That is the last movie of the month of April that I really want to get to. And then uh, we will be going forward with some reviews in May. So yes, guys, let me know of what you thought of Hatching for those that did see it. Again, this is an independent film. It is a limited release, so I don't know. And I don't know where it's streaming, sadly. So I don't know how many people are actually going to check out this movie. But uh, it is getting some really good reviews. Um, personally, I it just wasn't my thing. I thought it did a lot of things really well. But it did more so things that just weren't, that just didn't work for me. So yes, guys, that's going to do it for this review. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you thought of Hatching and or the review down below. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Have a safe night, and I'll see you in the next one.